I wanted to ask you, Lauren, if there's any updates on the mysterious man in the hoodie. And we focused quite a bit on that story last night. He was cleared. He was at the food truck. He certainly looked very suspicious to a lot of people who have been watching this case. But do we have any updates as to what exactly is happening with him? Yes, I would say he's on everyone's radar again or still he's always been on my radar and people are talking as far as the true crime community goes he is the talk let's you know let's go back and look at this video people are hearing that he might and this is a maybe it's a speculation it hasn't been confirmed but that he might have left the country even we're trying to confirm that but no one can get a hold of him right now either and so he's not coming forward and saying no i'm here makes you wonder where he is. Well, we had a News Nation producer who went and knocked on his family's door. Uh, no answer there. Didn't appear to be home at the time. But I do have this question. It's fine to be um, curious and to try to put clues together. But, you know, one person, Jeremy Reagan, was assailed and harassed online after being cleared by the Moscow police. And I'm wondering if the same thing is, is happening to the young man in the hoodie, who has never been named publicly, but certainly uh, internet sleuthers have come up with a name and an address and would know where to find them. Yeah, you mentioned the downside of internet sleuths and, and we, you know, have to be careful. But I want to point out something that that is actually really interesting. You mentioned Jeremy. Jeremy was being harassed. He was being what is called docs. It, it was awful because he did a few interviews for, for the television. And you know what he did? He ran to the police station. He said, here's my DNA test it please let everybody know that i'm innocent have we seen hoodie guy do that have we seen him come forward and say hey i'm not in africa i'm right here in my home hey you know what i have nothing to do with this and i know that they've cleared me but but i'm going to show all of you here's my dna have we seen him do that well, we haven't, but we don't know if that has happened. That's the other issue, is that he very well may have done an extensive uh, debrief with the police, may have submitted DNA, and may actually been, be on camera somewhere uh, with an alibi that's um, airtight. These are the things we don't know, so the speculation is always so dangerous. But Lauren Mathias, thank you for joining me tonight. Sure, sure appreciate it.